This demo refers to measurement invariance assessment. So I apply my measurement invariance assessment to this model, which I assume uh, analyzed data collected from two countries. And I have a data label variable that, that's labeled that's called country and that shows the names of the countries, Brazil and USA, from which data was collected. I'm going to go to the option Explore Measurement Invariance. I'm going to choose I'm going to choose as my grouping variable type label, country as my grouping variable, and the analysis method, there are uh, uh, various methods, and I can use loadings and weights. I'll use constrained latent growth with loadings. So a measurement invariance analysis typically is done together with a um, multi-group analysis, because if we find significant differences in path coefficients in a multi-group analysis, we need to do a measurement invariance analysis to make sure that uh, the, the, the differences are not due to measurement model differences um, across the groups. So in the output for this analysis, I get some selected outputs like loadings, uh, focal linearity VIFs, also loadings. This, this is loadings for Brazil, loadings for the United States, and then a comparison of the two countries, uh, the absolute latent growth coefficient for the loadings, and of importance are the p-values. In this case, two-tailed p-values are the most relevant because normally the expectation is that there is no measurement uh, variation. There is no variance in the uh, in the in the uh, in the measurement models for the different groups being considered. Uh, also provided are T-ratios and confidence intervals if those are, are used for the analysis. So in this particular case, no p-value is uh, significant. No p-value is lower than 0 0.05, which essentially means that the loadings in this particular analysis that I've done, and the, the loadings do not change significantly between Brazil and the USA. I could have conducted this analysis also with weights, and I could have used a sorted weight and pulled standard errors. This type of analysis, as well as multi-group analysis, could also be done using full latent growth. And the focus of the full latent growth analysis would then be the loadings. This concludes this demo on measurement invariance assessment.